things come up. Just Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. That would change my mind about serving the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We don't have to change our mind. Praise God. We don't have to change our mind. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to be here tonight. I just want to address y'all tonight. Amen. Brother Holloway, Brother Philip, Sister Kim. Amen. We come last year. Amen. I was invited by Brother Mark here. He's been knowing him for the uh, longest dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we enjoyed the show. So when we heard the dates, we just do like Brother Mark, but just put it in our calendar. We've been very busy this year preaching. Amen. Still got several preachers to go to do. Amen. But we enjoy being here. We want you to know that you're all our type. Amen. Of people here. Praise God. We right. just, I, I believe, like a little lady said a while ago, there's no big eyes and little ears. Yeah. Yeah. One man of God said, if we can never get small enough for God to use us, yeah. that's where we need to be. Praise God. How many wants to be that? Amen. 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 I, love, I love the Lord tonight, and I'm so thankful for that saying. And I, I tell you what, I. I feel like I'm as safe in heaven with the door on. Praise God. Yeah, this salvation is real, folks. Yes. Amen to God. He said, no more burden. Jesus said, in this world, you'll have tribulation. But he said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah, God. I mean, he's glad he overcame the world. Peter said, now I'm born of an incorruptible seed, even the word of God. How I many is glad when you're born of what he is, I'm becoming what he is. Amen to God. If he overcome the world, I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. You know, Paul said in Colossians that you're complete in him. Amen to God. And you know, when you take a rose, but I was raised in Fort Steel, Louisiana, where the nursery capital is down there. Amen. Been in Alabama 25 years. But you know, you take a rose bub. Amen. And in that rose bub is everything it needs to become what it ought to become. Right. Whether it's a yellow rose or, you know, purple. Amen. Or red. Whatever it is. The fragrance, the smell, everything's in the seed. They don't need no help. Right. Nobody has to go out there and spray it. Nobody has to go out there and paint it. It's all in the seed. Oh, Amen to God. If you're born of that seed, the Word of God, you're becoming exactly what He is. Hallelujah to God. Amen. We will make it. Can you say amen? If He made it, I'm going to make it. Hallelujah to God. Give the Lord a hand tonight. Amen. We're going to, we're going to sing an old congregational song. I want to help us. Jesus hold my hand. Amen. And I'm telling you, how are we living in? I don't want Him to let go of mine. I've been walking with Him over 50 years, but I don't want Him to let go. I, I raised six kids, you know, and I, I remember when they were small and we'd get around certain dangers or get around something that always run up want daddy to grab that hand. They felt that security, praise God. They felt somebody's there, amen. I mean, no, oh, I feel that hand of God. Holiness, hallelujah. We don't want to return to us tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'd just like to say that I love the Lord and I'm thankful to be here among God's people. Praise the Lord. I will tell you something me that the Lord has shown me this year, and it's to lay aside every weight and every sin that yes. so easily besets. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. And that scripture, it just says a whole lot more than what it looks like it does. Come on. When you're laying aside the weights in your life, those can be your future plans. Yes. Those can be your desires. Those can be all of your thoughts and whatever you have on your own mind. You have to lay all of that aside. And let God do in you what He desires to do in you. Come on, man. Thank you. Thank you. Can't see, I believe, bro.